See those clouds starting to make their way into the area, showing those storms starting to pop up. And that temperature right now is still feeling pretty hot, 89 degrees. We do that. We do have that dew point up in the mid 70s, so it still feels like 100 degrees in downtown Savannah. So another hot and muggy day, unfortunately, not as scorching as it has been the past few days, but unfortunately it's still pretty hot. But that will go down as we move through the evening hours. Storm Tracker Radar Network showing those pop up showers starting to fire up in the area. Again, this should become more widespread as we move through the night tonight. And it is that time of the year. We are tracking the tropics. We're taking our eye on this large cluster of thunderstorms just off the coast of North Carolina. It has moved up from the Georgia coast all the way up to the North Carolina coast. It is moving slowly. It does have a slow, chance, small chance of development, excuse me, in the next five days, only at 20%. As it interacts with the land, there shouldn't be much development but as it moves out to sea. We do expect just a small chance of development in the next few days. Now, this isn't affecting our area directly, but it is a great time to remind you we are in the peak of hurricane season. August, September, and October are when we see our most development with these systems, especially in September. We are halfway through August, so this is the time to have your hurricane essentials ready to go just in case we do have an emergency for our area. Tonight, once again, we are feeling pretty steamy still around 9 p.m. tonight, still feeling like 89 degrees in Savannah. You can see the areas where we do expect some showers to move through tonight, dropping down to the 70s, 76 in Jessup, and even 77 in Glenville. So you can definitely see the difference that that rain makes, bringing us relief from those temperatures. Overnight tonight, we'll drop to the lower 70s for that low, but waking up tomorrow morning for your work week or even for the school week when you're getting ready, 74 degrees in Savannah, 73 in Springfield, and even 73 in Statesboro. So starting off a little bit on the cooler side tomorrow morning. Unfortunately, it will see be, still be extremely muggy and we will warm up quite a bit throughout the day around 1 p.m. tomorrow. Feeling like we're in the 90s, but it is the lower 90s, so that's something to look forward to. 95 in Springfield, 90 in Pembroke, and 89 in Glenville. And you can see in our southern counties, we'll start to see that rain move in tomorrow afternoon. That will bring those temperatures down quite a bit around 8 p.m. tomorrow night. That rain in the area, area bringing down those temperatures will stick to the upper 70s. So let's time out those showers I was talking about earlier around 9 p.m. tonight. You can see some dense cloud coverage in that heavy rain starting to move through around 9 p.m. as we move through the night though we should stay on the dry side waking up tomorrow morning overcast skies a pretty gloomy start to your work week unfortunately moving into the afternoon around 1 p.m that's when we start to see a few pop-up showers for the area and then as we move through the day those will start to fade out for the rest of your Monday. We're sticking to sticky for that comfort cast for the rest of the week. We do have lower temperatures, but it will be quite muggy. And your certified most accurate forecast for the next seven days. Keep that 